Hi folks, my name is Nick Lyon here with Il Davide Restaurant, bartender and assistant manager. Here today we're going to be making a couple cocktails for you. We're going to start with our signature blood orange martini. Really, really easy to make, a lot of flair. Sure to impress any of your guests with this cocktail. We're going to start out with two ounces of Grey Goose vodka. Super simple, super delicious. Always got to use the good stuff. Make sure that you, you don't have a hangover in the morning. So we'll start with two ounces of that in our shaker followed by about a quarter ounce to a half ounce of our Salerno blood orange liqueur. This is essentially a Cointreau or triple sec, but it's blood orange. Lot more tasty, lot more complex, a lot of really good flavor. You can find this at any BevMo. Most liquor stores carry it. Super easy to find. So I'll do about half ounce in the shaker, followed by about a quarter ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Always build the cocktail in the glass first before you add ice. We don't want any dilution, any extra at least. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of ice. Gonna give it a nice firm shake. Make sure all those ingredients are nice and cold, well incorporated. Go ahead and give that a nice strain into our martini glass. followed by a little blood orange puree. You can find this at any supermarket. If you want to do it yourself, super easy to make as well. Add a little color. Finally, garnish with the blood orange. It's that easy. Wow, any of your guests with this cocktail, absolutely delicious. Cheers. So today we'll be making our signature cocktail, the Santo Diablo Margarita. We'll start off with our mixing glass. Fill it with ice. We have our Santo Blanco tequila. About two ounces of that. We have our ancho chili liqueur, about a half ounce of that. Squeeze our lime. Add our agave nectar, half ounce. And we're going to shake this up. Grab our glass here. Little lime on the edge. And tahine rim. Fill with ice. And we'll strain the margarita right in there. An orange squeeze. Lime garnish. We'll finish it with a little orange liqueur. About a half ounce. This is our Santo Diablo Margarita. Salute. Folks, next today we're going to be making a basil and gin gimlet. Cocktail with a lot of flair, great color, and absolutely delicious. Again, be sure to wow all your holiday guests this season with this beautiful cocktail. 
First off, we're gonna start off with a good heaping handful of basil in the shaker, followed by two ounces of Bombay Sapphire. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of Cointreau, orange liqueur. Orange works really, really well with basil. Do about an ounce of Cointreau. Finally, we're gonna do about a half ounce of St. Germain. Add a little bit of sweetness to the cocktail. This is an elderflower liqueur. Absolutely delicious. Floral notes in there. Just like last time, we're gonna add ice to the shaker. Ice always goes in last. Don't wanna dilute your cocktail. Give it a nice firm shake. Finally, we're gonna double strain this cocktail into a martini glass. Look at that color. Don't want any basil remnants in there. I always recommend any at-home bartender have one of these little double strainers. Finally, garnish with the basil leaf. Cheers. Folks, my name is Nick Lyon here with Il Davide Restaurant, bartender and assistant manager. Here today, we're going to be making a couple cocktails for you. We're going to start with our signature blood orange martini. Really, really easy to make, a lot of flair. Sure to impress any of your guests with this cocktail. We're going to start out with two ounces of Grey Goose vodka. Super simple, super delicious. Always got to use the good stuff. Make sure that you, you don't have a hangover in the morning. So we'll start with two ounces of that in our shaker followed by about a quarter ounce to a half ounce of our Salerno blood orange liqueur. This is essentially a Cointreau or triple sec, but it's blood orange. A lot more tasty, a lot more complex, a lot of really good flavor. You can find this at any BevMo. Most liquor stores carry it. Super easy to find. So I'll do about half ounce in the shaker, followed by about a quarter ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Always build the cocktail in the glass first before you add ice. We don't want any dilution, any extra at least. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of ice. Gonna give it a nice firm shake. Make sure all those ingredients are nice and cold, well incorporated. Go ahead and give that a nice strain into our martini glass. Followed by a little blood orange puree. You can find this at any supermarket. If you want to do it yourself, super easy to make as well. Add a little color. Finally, garnish with the blood orange. It's that easy. Wow, any of your guests with this cocktail, absolutely delicious. Cheers. So 
So today we'll be making our signature cocktail, the Santo Diablo Margarita. We'll start off with our mixing glass. Fill it with ice. We have our Santo Blanco tequila. About two ounces of that. We have our ancho chili liqueur, about a half ounce of that. Squeeze our lime. Add our agave nectar, half ounce. And we're gonna shake this up. Grab our glass here. Little lime on the edge. And tahini rim. Fill it with ice. And we'll strain the margarita right in there. An orange squeeze. Lime garnish. We'll finish it with a little orange liqueur. About a half ounce. This is our Santo Diablo Margarita. Salute. Folks, next today we're going to be making a basil and gin gimlet cocktail with a lot of flair, great color, and absolutely delicious. Again, be sure to wow all your holiday guests this season with this beautiful cocktail. First off, we're going to start off with a good heaping handful of basil in the shaker, followed by two ounces of Bombay Sapphire. Next, we're going to add a little bit of Cointreau, orange liqueur. Orange works really, really well with basil. Do about an ounce of Cointreau. Finally, we're going to do about a half ounce of St. Germain. Add a little bit of sweetness to the cocktail. This is an elderflower liqueur. Absolutely delicious. Floral notes in there. Just like last time, we're going to add ice to the shaker. Ice always goes in last. Don't want to dilute your cocktail. Give it a nice, firm shake. Finally, we're gonna double strain this cocktail into a martini glass. Look at that color. Don't want any basil remnants in there. I always recommend any at-home bartender have one of these little double strainers. Finally, garnish with a basil leaf. Cheers.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome tonight for a great night for Sailor's Restaurant in Il Davide. It is going to be a, a wonderful night with Sean and David. They're going to tell you all about the restaurants and why we're doing this for the families and, and the community of the people that work at both these incredible restaurants. For a, a great gift for a hundred bucks tonight, you can qualify for an online video opportunity to study with David or Sean or Sean David how to make these incredible appetizers and dishes. And for that $100, we're going to choose four of you out of tonight donating philanthropically to help us. All donations can be uh, written off to Rotary Club of Mission San Rafael Foundation. Rotary Club of Mission San Rafael foundation, all tax deductible, an opportunity to do good, to do good for a great tax write-off. The other opportunity is a $5,000 donation to have both Sean and David come to your house in virtual uh, COVID safety, but it will be COVID safe, but they'll come to your house and do incredible work to help you do that stuff. To me, this is a great opportunity tonight to do good. There's, these guys are hilarious, fun. You're going to be watching them. We'll be talking to them while they're making their appetizers and their main dishes. But it's going to be a great night. And as Mo said to Curly in the Three Stooges, what are you doing? He goes, I'm thinking, but nothing's happening. That's what tonight is about. About joy, fun, laughter, good food, and good community building for the families who are in need during COVID-19, all tax deductible. So with that in mind, I'd like to introduce you and give you an opportunity to go take a look at David doing his first appetizer right now. David Hayden, the chef and owner of the incredible El Davide. David? Good evening. My name is David from Il Davide. From Il Davide restaurant. Yes, it's pronounced Il Davide, not da David. A lot of people won't ask me that every day. I like David. You like it? Well, you're probably from France. Or oh, no. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I love the, when people ask me that because he's usually a running bet and it's Davide. And I had to research this before I actually you know, created the sign. So, um, anyway, tonight I just want to welcome everybody, first of all, and say thank you so much for being here. We're going to have a lot of fun and hope you guys have a lot of fun viewing us. Um, I'm going to do an appetizer that's super popular at the restaurant right now. We, we can't take it off the menu because a lot of people would just be angry with me. Um, it's called the scampi bruschetta. It's very simple. And um, you, my ingredients are olive oil, garlic, lots of garlic, actually, a little parsley, butter, some uh, 1620 uh, prawns. And then we call these prawns on the West Coast, and then they're called shrimp on the East Coast. Um, hey, I was, why do they call them 1620s? Because you get 1620 to a pound. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. And also, this is going to be served over, to, actually, one more ingredient. I have white wine, a uh, little cream, and some uh, lemon. So this is going to be served over a toasted, um, toasted sourdough, which I'm toasting right now, which I'll plate later, if you can see. Right, Sean? You got that? Smells good. All right. Beautiful. So I'm going to start off by heating my pan to medium high, adding a little olive oil. Hopefully that's not what. <laughs> Just put $50 of oil on there. About two tablespoons of garlic. I'm going to so, frazzle that. It's a prawn dish or a garlic dish? Uh, it's, 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 uh, Goodness. it's garlic and add a little prawns. Gee, man, keep those, I know. keep those vampires away. Definitely. So you want to frazzle with garlic. You don't want to burn it. I'm going to add my shrimp, my prawns, or whatever you want to call them. Right now, shrimpy prawns. To the quick saute. Oh, that's looking good. Some white wine. That gives it the tang there, and also a little bit of lemon juice. All right, and the magic ingredient is butter. Butter, make it it's more better. A, it's only about a softball size of butter, but don't Ooh. worry about it. That's what makes it nice. So I'm going to turn down my heat a little bit. Put that Get that saute down, add some parsley. Is that Italian parsley? Uh, it's from California, actually. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> All right, and then a little bit of cream just to tighten it up and let that saute. Do you have any questions for me, Sean? Um, well, so far it looks like you, you know, you act like you know what you're doing at least, but you know, I really don't. Uh, I'd have to taste it, you know, first. To, to, you I'm, know. A, I'm a great pretender. Oh, okay. I have to give credit to my, my employees. Um, my three guys behind the line, Gabino, Elias, Francisco, Joaquin, those guys are the, the heart and soul of Il Davide. It's not me. I'm just, I'm just there to, to give Here's that for show, right? <laughs> All right. So we got a really nice, uh, bubble going here. So I'm going to put my pan to the side, take my toast. Only two pieces? Well, it's only for you and me, but Oh, okay. So that's All good. Right. David, right. I wanted to ask you a question. How how important is it is the community and family that you've built while you're while you're chefing and serving and doing everything in the community? Not now, Mike. I'm trying to explain something, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so well, you know, when I first started Gil Davide, um People came to me, they asked for donations, and I could never say no. And giving back to the community is such a great part of giving back yourself. And, um, you know, if you don't do good things for people, you're not going to have things, you know, for, your, for yourself. And I'm very happy and very grateful for my life and what, what I've accomplished and, and what I've gone through. So this is part of it. Community, great support. What does it do for your heart, David? What does it do for, uh, for you and your family? It make, makes my heart feel... Very, very big. Let's put it that way. Not, not two sizes too small, the Grinch. No, not two sizes right. too small. All right. See, I'm blocking it. Please. I see that. Yeah. Well, right. it's kind of hard to do. Back to the demo before my sauce separates. Um, I'm gonna add the the prawns to the or the shrimp to the toast, and then I'm gonna the shrimp or prawns. You you just change it's whatever you want them to be. Oh, so okay. I'm, All right. Yeah. Sausalito, that might be a different name. Yeah, maybe, right? Is yeah. it Italian? Where I come from, San Rafael, we, we do our prawns and shrimp right. Okay. All right. So All right. I'm adding the sauce. Look at that beautiful sauce. That is absolutely just amazing. I'll show the camera in a second. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and then I'm going to finish it with a little bit of just garnish here. <clears throat> and just a little bit That's of That's that Italian parsley, right? A little bit of olive oil. That's a, a, a sauce little wow. parsley. All right. All right. If you can see this, beautiful. Hey, where are you going with that, man? I thought we were going to share. We're not. <laughs> oh, okay. Here you go, Michael. There's a beautiful Thank you so much. Biscotta. You are the best, brother. Thank awesome. you so much. Salute. Bon appetit. Mille grazie. Prego, prego. You know, I want you to take a look at this incredible video of El Davide, the restaurant, the community, the people that work there, and the life that has been built there that teaches the greatness of community restauranting. Hi, my name is David Hayden. I'm the owner of Il Davide Restaurant in San Rafael. Um, I've been open about 26 years almost 26 years. Um, ever since then, we've been working with the community very closely and um, the schools, everybody. And we're just super excited about um, what we're doing here. You know, we locally source uh, our produce, fish and meat um, within a hundred mile radius. Right now I'm working on different uh, dishes, but always introducing something new and fun. Um, one of my special specialties is uh, mushroom ravioli or, or tortellinis filled with black truffle. And we do it with a, a black truffle cream. And that's probably our most popular dish. And also uh, chicken parmesan that I put a different twist on. Um, it's a panko fried, uh, spicy fried chicken with uh, mozzarella, basil, tomato, and done with a little uh, torchy pasta uh, with a pecorino alfredo and kale. That's one of my other specialties that we do here. We've developed a really great relationship with many, many people in San Rafael and in Anbrain County. And it's been wonderful to have people just constantly. I mean, we're, we're super busy. We're, we're almost, I, I consider us an institution, but I really feel that our community supports us so much. And I appreciate that. Uh, we've done a lot of charity events for, let's say, Hospice or Lifehouse of Marin, um, lots of nonprofits. But we usually show up and we do anything um, like an appetizer or even uh, a full on dinner for over anywhere from 25 to 400 people. Over the years, 
I've really maintained a, a fantastic uh, crew here. People have been with me for 25, 20 years, 11 years, 17. We have no turnover with employees. Um, my, I don't even call them my employees, they're my family. We've been together for a long time and everybody knows their job, they know what they're doing. My customers love everyone, it's, it's amazing. These people are so essential to my business here at Il Davide. Um, we really uh, enjoy doing this and I will continue. It cannot, it cannot get better than this. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Barry and Kathy, thank you from uh, Northern Pacific Roofing. We love you guys. Thank you. Donation of $1,000. You are awesome. You rock. Tonight, I want you to take a look at all of what we're talking about and how we can help in our community, to our restaurants and to our restaurant families. Please take a look at the Sailor's Restaurant video right here. It's amazing what Sean and his family of Community Unity have done here. So we've been in Sausalito uh, 20 plus years, uh, our other location for about nine, and, and in this location uh, since 2006. Uh, when we opened this uh, particular restaurant, there uh, wasn't a Mexican restaurant in town. Uh, so we felt the, uh, we needed to fill that need here in Sausalito. And uh, we've been you know, going strong for the past 14 years now. Uh, we were open six days a week, uh, Monday through Friday, lunch and dinner and uh, Saturdays dinner only, closed on Sundays. So uh, one of our more popular appetizers is uh, grilled polenta, which I'll be making in a food demo. And then uh, also our cobble prawns uh, that we uh, have a signature uh, tequila chipotle sauce for. Uh, my chef and I have worked together since 1992, Jose, and uh, we have developed a more of a brotherhood than, than a, a work uh, relationship. Um, he is definitely family, as are the rest of our staff who are all longtime employees uh, here at the restaurant. Um, most of them have been here since the beginning, and we uh, considered them family. We developed a lot of uh, relationships with, with the nonprofits here in town uh, Sausalito Rotary, uh, Sausalito Women's Club, Sausalito Lions Club, uh, Sausalito Art Festival. Uh, they have all uh, been big supporters of us, and in turn, we support their organizations as well. Lucky to have the community and be in the community that we're in. Ladies and gentlemen, what a, a wonderful night with these two guys. It is so much fun being in the kitchen and being around watching these guys do their work, build their family connection to the people that work with them, and bring that essence of you make a living by what you get, but you make a life by what you give to others. And that's what both these restaurants, Sailors and El Davide, are about. So with that in mind, take a good look at this guy, Sean Sailor. He is an amazing spirit, and he's going to do his appetizer for us. Watch this. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for taking the time out to help our yeah, uh, and our families. Um, David and I really appreciate it. Um, I wanted to call this the Sean and Dave show, but he wanted to call it the Dave and Sean show. So maybe you know, we'll just <laughs> figure it out as we go along. Um, we both are so grateful for all the donations that have already been made and for our communities, me in Sausalito and Dave up in San Rafael. Um, that's, what keeps us going. That's what keeps our staff going, our families going, their families going. So we really appreciate everything that you've done for us. So today, tonight, tonight, yeah, um, I'm going to do our polenta appetizer with shrimp or uh, prawns. Shrons. <laughs> shrimp? Shrons. Shrons. Okay. What's All the right. difference between those two? Yeah. Sean, uh, East Coast, West Coast. <laughs> Good. Something like that. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm going to start with a little olive oil, too. Uh, mine's Italian. I don't know if yours was or not. extra but, virgin? Or well, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, didn't, I didn't have time to ask, but yeah, I think uh, that was that's true. 
Uh, I too am going to do a little bit of garlic, but not quite as much because. Because uh, it's not a Well, my my dish is a little more flavorful without it, so I don't, you know, I don't need that much. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Did you just? I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do. Did I kiss you? No. Did you diss me? Oh, diss you? No, I don't. I, I don't think I'd so. I'd rather have a kiss. Okay. Well, we, <laughs> we can do that later. Um, I'm going to do my schwanz as well. And uh, we're going to saute those on both sides here. Get a little color. Beautiful. Nice job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm gonna drop Sean, you phone. do so much uh, for your local community in Sausalito and in Marin, but what is it that, that you, as you chef and you teach, because you're a professor, as, as is David, of teaching the art of food and what is it that it provides for you to do all that for your community? Well, uh, first of all, Michael, um, I'm I'm not a professional chef, but I, I do play one on TV a lot. So, <laughs> um, that being said, you know, like you know, the community is everything, and it really means a lot for the support that we've gotten through this whole COVID thing already. Uh, people are, you know, been so generous with with us, our staff. We're able to keep all of our staff. Uh, I do have some furloughed now since we're shut down again in the for the dining in the restaurant. Um, but you know they all there are all my family, and I need to take care of them. We're we are obligated to take care. How of do them. you help those people with the furloughs emotionally, Sean? Because I know you're a great leader. Well, I'm I'm texting them or calling them or vice versa uh, right. uh, as we go through uh, each day and and checking on them and making sure they're okay if they need anything, you know. If they need food or a meal, you know, come and get it uh, while we're getting through this. Um, we're all in it together, right? That's that's exactly right. Yeah. So I got my polenta down in the fryer here. And David used white wine, but uh, I got to go with some tequila here. Um, How tequila use it? Well, this is our Cabo Blanco tequila. Do you really use that, Sean? I, I really do use that. That's expensive and, tequila. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... Taste it and make sure it's okay first. <laughs> you must be friends with Sammy Hagar mm. or something like that. I, I do know Sammy. Yes, he's he's a great guy. Oh, also, uh, you guys. Uh, also a oh, giver. Also a giver. Um, I don't think I saw you put any salt and pepper in yours, but it didn't need it. Uh, oh, okay. So I'm gonna <laughs> add some here for my dish. Okay. Salt. Yeah. Okay. What kind of salt are you put in there? Uh, that's that would be kosher salt. Okay. Thank yeah. You. All right. Got my polenta out there. Beautiful. Shrimp sexy already. Oh yeah, shrimp sh uh, shrimp is already almost done here. Oh. So what I have here are my uh, enchilada sauces. We do a half red and we do half green. Hey, don't go too far with that. <laughs> Shall I pour you another shot? Well, not yet. I okay. haven't finished that one yet. All right, take that off the fire. I got my red sauce here. Looks great. Little yin yang almost. Absolutely. And I'm gonna grab my polenta out of my fryer basket here. Pull it. That looks like one of my dishes at the restaurant. Well, I, you know, it's 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 Mexican polenta for one. I saw you in there dining a couple. Of yeah, times. you know, I, I I tried to sneak one in and just making sure. You know, a little. Recipe. I don't know what do you call it. I'm flattered. Well, you know, hey, <laughs> we gotta we gotta keep each other on our toes here. Hey, Sean, how how do you guys do your to go business? Because that's so urgently important right now in COVID nineteen times. Yeah. How do you do this? And 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 you both of you, you and David, are doing incredible uh, work here. But you know, how do you hold that all together for that to go business? What's the what's the method you guys use? Well, um, you know, we 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 had to change our hours, unfortunately. Um, right. So we're not doing lunch anymore. Um, COVID hit, and every you know our lunch business was all the offices around the right. uh, the restaurant here, and uh, everybody's working from home. So wow. there's you know it's kind of like a ghost town for lunch around here. Right. So we're just doing dinner only, and um, you know takeout uh, has been real strong. Um, <laughs> uh, Cinco de Mayo, um, I had, I think it was, eighty six phone orders. Wow. And 22 delivery orders. 
You may you know that blessed are the flexible, for they shall not get bent out of shape. Yeah. Um, it, that was one of the most difficult days of my life. Uh, Go flow. Uh, although we had a full kitchen staff, it was just three of us in the front here. Um, and line out the door and, and, you know, obviously just grateful for them to show up. And We're grateful for your leadership so. and your kindness in the community for your staff and all the work that both of you guys do for charitable organizations. You're both incredible guys. Thank, thank you, Michael. Thank you. Um, so I got my prawns here on the on top of the polenta. I'm just going to sprinkle some cotija cheese on here. It's kind of like a, a Mexican Parmesan cheese, if you will. And a yes. little bit of uh, cilantro garnish as well. Now, this is not a, t a dish that we make here at the restaurant all the time. Uh, it's kind of like a special off the menu sort of uh, dish. Um, and yes, I did kind of copy it off of uh, Dave's uh, menu. So. <laughs> I love this guy. We do. I think guys. Well, I mean, you're I, hilarious. I can't say stole, stole, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. Cante y no llores. Here we go. Beautiful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Can it get better? <laughs> Woo! Sean, say that. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Now, I want you to take a look at their to-go businesses. For both sailors and then for El Davide. us is by uh, getting takeout, uh, having deliveries. Um, we've had a lot of, of customer support through gratuities uh, for the staff, which has, has helped get them through. Uh During the holiday season, we really encourage people to buy gift certificates uh, or gift cards for the restaurant and a lot of takeout and delivery. We also have in-house delivery. We'll, whatever you like, we'll do for you. Okay, Chris Gallagher, thank you so much. Ray Moore, Ann Elias, Bev Short, Nancy Gallagher, Cortesi, Lewis and Peggy, uh, Joy and Jim, Bill, thank you guys for your generosity and, and donating to the families of staff and to help them get through this uh, struggling time, but as well, the great gift of being in community unity and now Zoom unity with immunity. So if you can remember to make sure you got $5,000, if you have that, uh, these two wonderful chefs will come and give a great uh, opportunity, COVID-friendly meal for your family or for friends. And as well, if you have 100 bucks to donate tonight, we'll be drawing your name to look at some of the videos for that. And now I just want you to know that we're going to just think really powerfully about how important community is to all of us and to help others and ourselves through this time. I always say the rich always want to get richer. The powerful always want more power, but you got to leave the happy alone. 
I want you to take a look at this incredible video right now as we do. We're going to make this video for you for the future, and it is it's David doing his incredible meal tonight for us. It's, oh, I'm sorry, it's Sean. I made a mistake. Sean. You know, Michael, I, I that hurt me. <laughs> I, how could you insult me like that? I mean, you know, I mean, he's a good looking guy. I get it. You know, I, I understand why you asked me back. I love so, you so much. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, I'm going to do our <laughs> signature dish, uh, the Cabo Prawns here at Sailor's Restaurant and Bar. And it's something actually that I kind of, uh, well, I guess stole maybe uh, from a show, uh, uh, Bay, uh, or excuse me, Bay Cafe, uh, Joey Altman. And um, he had uh, Sammy Hagar show up at my place uh, one day and uh, did a cooking demo and uh, got to play a little uh, guitar and music uh, with Sammy and, and drink some tequila. And uh, so this is kind of the inspiration where that came from. Uh, it's cobble prawns and uh, again, uh, shrimp. I, I don't know. I, I, I keep getting confused now. You got me all confused, babe. <laughs> um, we got to start with a little olive oil again. That's a little bit. Better. And um, well, it's Italian, so we try not to use too much, you know. Uh, a little more shallots on this one. A little garlic on this too. We're gonna saute this up again. Don't burn it, right, Dave? Don't burn it. Don't burn it. <laughs> garlic, garlic gets really bitter when you burn it, so I'm just going to kind of brown it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to add the shrimp here. Prawns. Yeah. Shrimp. Prawns. You're a big guy. Did you play football in high school? Uh, uh, you know, I, I always tell everybody that I was enrolled at Redwood, and, and my attendance was uh, not the greatest. Um, but I, I made it. That's I made it. In the restaurant business. And that, that is exactly why I'm in the restaurant business. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But even more than that, Sean, you are a, a leader in community stuff and anticipating and doing things. What are some of the struggles you see out there, not just in your own restaurant, but with David, both of you guys? How do you how do you tell the American public? Please tell America, not just in our community, but at large. What are things that you're facing right now with, uh, with what, what's happening in the restaurant business? Either so one of you. The restaurant business um, is a labor of love. And wow. I've always said that it has to be in your blood if you're going to make it in this business. Right. Fortunately, I get to do what I love, and I love what I do. Wow. And there's not too many people in this world that can say that as far sure. as their job. Um, I don't really consider it a job. I consider it a, a privilege, really, to uh, to be able to feed people. It's it's you know everybody needs to eat, and yeah, food can be medicine for the soul. It, correct. That's exactly right. Yeah, um, the, the struggles, uh, you know, the, the the cliche, the struggle is real. Um, we're we're dying here um, as far as uh, restaurants closing up. Um, employees out of jobs, um, communities losing their, uh, whether it's, you know, the mom and pop breakfast or uh, the, the greasy spoon or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it, it's, it's really important that people support the restaurants, um, you know, any business, small business, really. Um, it, it's, it's something that I hope people can remember. And instead of going to Costco or one of those, you know, you go to a, a, a small independent grocery store or, you know, uh, something like that to, to help, you know, keep that economy growing. You have a um, Solomonic wisdom, my brother. So how do you and David uh, intend to do it as you do? Just keep helping. Um, well, it's like I said, it's what we do and we love what we do and it, we're going to get through it because... That's just who we are. Being in the restaurant business, you know, both being owners and everything like that, you don't do the same thing one, twice in, in a day. Yeah. You do something different every day is what I'm trying to say. Yep. And um, right now it's a nightmare and we're just waiting to wake up from this. And uh, it's Absolutely. been real, really hit hard. You have no idea how hard it's been hit. And um, we're, we're hoping we're here in a couple more months. You know, that's yeah. it. 
Yeah. Yep. So let me see the rest of you. Okay, I'm getting there. Hold on. All right. <laughs> so I got I got uh, my my prawns are pretty much done. Again, I got to get some tequila in there because that's what we do here. Get a little more this time. And um, yeah, just in case it wasn't good the first time. Uh, this is called cooking with tequila, actually. So yeah. Wow. All right. So that's yeah, it's still good. Um, put the heat on this a little bit. A little bit of cream. Careful there. And that's last. Nice. Butter's last, buddy. Butter's last. This is a chipotle in adobo. Smoked jalapeno in adobo sauce. Wow. A little bit on the spicy side. Sorry, Dave. No problem. I got my clam juice. Oh, yeah. Clam juice. Add a little clam juice there. Oh, beautiful. All right. And I'm actually going to take these shrimp out so they don't get overcooked. Because they get real rubbery if they're overcooked. There we go. I'm going to reduce this sauce to what was the term you used? Bubble? Tight bubble. Tight bubble. Thank you. Stir that up a little bit. So far you got a loose bubble. I got a loose bubble, yeah, <laughs> uh, for sure. Oh, so yes. Better than a no bubble. Very important. Again, you got to season your food. I know they have salt and pepper on the on the tables these days. Well, actually, they don't because you're not supposed to have them on there. Right. Um, so uh, you got to season your food. A little salt and pepper. And uh, we're almost there. How does a guy from the Midwest learn all these great skills and, and bring well, them there? I mean, <laughs> you know, growing up on, on Southern cooking, I'm just going to add some cold butter here, stir in some cold butter, and that kind of tightens up this, the sauce here. Um, Midwest food is, is, you know, pretty Southern, I guess, esque, yep. if you will. A lot of fried stuff, uh, chicken fried steak. You know, if I'm ever on death row for whatever reason, my last meal will be chicken fried steak. <laughs> Uh, biscuits and gravy. Um, and uh, I love you, Sean. <laughs> I love you too, Michael. Um, yeah, it's it's it, you know, California is, is a different place. The uh, cuisine here is amazing. Uh, great, town, area. Um, you know, the, the Mexican part for us, you know, our, a lot of our staff, uh, most of our staff actually is Hispanic, and um. You know, it's it's I've I've learned a lot from them myself. Even though I, I did go to culinary school, um, uh, I did you know learn a lot from them. So you created a family here. I yes sir I did. So I'm gonna dump a little bit of this sauce that's in there. Here, would you mind please, sir? Yes, sous chef. And and that's my friend. Actually, when this is over, you can you can do the dishes for me. Do you if like you don't a clean mind. one? Uh, no. Well, yeah, actually, I would okay. like a clean All one. Right. Um. Alrighty, so and I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley, excuse me, cilantro, into this dish as well. And we're gonna plate up here. Hopefully my rice bowl will work out for me. Hey, look at that! Nice. And then I have our avocado and grilled corn salsa. Looks a little beat up, unfortunately. Wasn't me though. Wow. All right. And now we're going to plate our prawns, shrimp, shrons, whatever they are. You kind of want to make them go the same way for presentation purposes. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, being left being left handed, it's a little harder. So I got to figure it out. You know, sometimes it's backwards. I don't know. Plate up these shrimp. And uh, can you handle six, Michael? Yes, sir. Okay. I suffer from, uh, I have a bumper sticker on my truck that says, bulk up, big people are harder to kidnap. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, the seafood diet. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, a bowl of clam chowder and a whale. I see food and I eat it, right? Yes. Got our sauce on here. All righty. And again, just a little cilantro wow. garnish on the top here. This is our famous Cabo 
prawns. Very nice. Good job. Thank you. All right, Michael. Oh, man. You are the best. You know what I love about you? Everything. You know what you need to change about you? Nothing. Is that my attitude? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have thank you so much for your generosity. Gene awesome. Friedel, awesome. Lisa Neumeyer, Susie Granados, uh, Gabby Von Dalwitz, uh, Rick and Candy, Lori Fregoli, uh, District Attorney, Kiki Angaro, Kim Corbett, Tara Linda Rotary President, Tammy Hall, and Johnny and Lisa Scopazzi. Scopazzi's rule. Love you guys. Thank you for your generosity and helping us out tonight. You guys are rocking it. And this, check that out. Can it get better? Can the world get better? So I know that you're thinking to yourselves, wow, what a night and what we can do to help lift community. For a hundred bucks, a video that you can do, uh, uh, an amazing visual with David and with uh, Sean. And also for $5,000 donation, all tax deductible, by the way, through Rotary uh, 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 Mission uh, San Rafael Foundation, $5,000 tax write-off for your company, for your philanthropy, for anybody in your business. For four people, they will do a COVID-friendly meal for you and your family for $5,000. All right, now I want you to take a moment and think about this. We have gone to see some amazing meals being made, and now we're going to watch the amazing David Hayden from El Davide Restaurant. And this guy, I will tell you, as is Sean, these are community leaders. These men love the families that work for them. They protect them. They help them. They save them. They do things to make their lives easier and better. There is no better leadership in the community than a company leader that protects and loves their vulnerable uh, family members who work for them and with them. They are truly family. Please welcome my good friend and a wonderful man, uh, David Hayden. He's going to chef. Where'd, we enjoy Where'd, where'd you go? I, I was behind you. The whole oh, okay. That's why I didn't see you. Well, thank you. Anyway, um, today I'm doing a dish that um, I got the idea from picking porcini mushrooms about 25 years ago up in um, up in the Mendocino area. And I went up with a group of Italians that were really great. Are you sure it was porcinis you were picking up there in Mendocino? Well, they, they were different colors. Oh, okay. I guess all so, right. but all I don't right. know. There's other stuff up there too, so I was just checking. Oh, come on. I, I wouldn't be in business I'm sorry. that happened. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me. So I, I picked, yeah, no problem. I picked up uh, porcini mushrooms, um, a lot of them, about 50 pounds, brought them down to the restaurant. And uh, th this inspired this dish right here, which is called torta, tortelloni porcini. It's filled with porcini mushrooms and black truffle. Now, a tortelloni is like a little, it's like a large tortellini, if you can see that. Hold on. There you go. And it's two discs of pasta that um, basically is filled with porcini mushrooms and black truffle. Did you make those? I did. I handmade them myself. Uh, okay. We actually crimp these at the restaurant with forks. We don't. We don't produce them like other tortellinis are produced. We hand make these. They're very. They're very much a labor of love, but they're so delicious. Is that a signature move with that fork? That is. A, that is definitely one. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, olive oil, some truffle oil, some shallots, uh, some shiitake mushrooms, a little thyme, and then a black truffle paste, and butter and cream because that makes it all Wait, good. Wait, where's the porcini mushrooms? They're in. They're in. They're not Caesar right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're inside the, uh, the tortellini. Uh, so how do you... Okay, never mind. All right. First of all, I'm going to put my tortellinis in the water, boiling water. And once those float, that means they're done. I'm going to heat the pan to a medium-high heat. I'm going to add my olive oil. I believe in using a lot of oil, olive oil. I got more if you need it. Well, you. I know like you have more you, you hardly use any. So and here's... It's Italian, that's why. <laughs> David, what's the story of your restaurant? How did you arrive uh, at El Davide? Because it is so popular. People love it so much. And they love the staff there. So, what? so great. So well, it all really rocks from that. El Davide that has been open for 25 years now. I had another restaurant before that called um, Ristorante, Cafe Ristorante Italia. Right. And, you know, I was tired of working 70 hours a week for myself for many years. And then I 
I decided to go on my own. So now you're only working 69 hours. I'm, I'm really working. About <laughs> okay. Uh, Actually, I'm not working at all right now. I'm uh, closed. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Right. We're not closed, but we're. Open. But uh, it's been it's been super rough lately. But it's been such a dream for me to own my own restaurant. I remember sitting down with my mother when I was 17, and she goes, "What do you want to do?" I go, "I want to own my own restaurant." Wow. And, and she almost laughed, but she didn't because <laughs> she's my mother. And I, 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 when I was 21, I had my own restaurant, so I was super fortunate to do that. I'm super grateful that I get to work, like Sean said, in something we love to do. And I, I, I well, never, most days, most every day, yeah, we, except yeah. for Mother's Day, uh, Fourth of July, yeah, and, uh, all the holidays. Yeah. But, yeah, but you Day. made your dream come true, didn't you, David? My dream came true, absolutely. You know, Michael, it, the way I look at it is, yes, our dreams came true, and every day I hope it doesn't become a nightmare. <laughs> Well said, well said. I like and that. These Teamwork times, makes the dream work, brother. These, these times, these COVID times, it, it sometimes yeah. feels like that a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it does. It does. So, okay, I had a bunch of talking mushrooms. I'm going to saute that. I have, to, I have to add a little more olive oil because you guys are talking to me too long. <laughs> and I'm, I'm drinking. I don't know what he's doing. He's drinking. So I'm going to saute the shiitake mushrooms a little bit. Get those going. Now, I like to use a little bit of butter, actually, when I saute mushrooms. Oh, well, I do, too. Well. That's coming next. All right, okay. big guy? All right. I'm all right. just checking. Right. I don't I mean, use a little bit. I use oh, a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. There we go. So add the butter. Better butter, more better. Let's see. I'm going to add some fresh thyme. What time is it? It's time for time. Time for the time. <laughs> all right. That's beautiful right there. That's really nice. I'm going to add uh, some cream. Now, have you ever done this? And I'm going to add a little more butter. Oh, yes, sorry. Sean. Sorry for interrupting. No, go ahead. Have you ever done that and gotten brown butter or let the butter brown? Not burn, but brown? Well, I do it with like more of a like the squash ravioli okay. or a sweet potato right. ravioli. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. With mushrooms, yeah. it's always it's, yeah. it's the best. Did I interrupt your demo? Uh, yeah, I think you did, actually. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you put your hands on me. <laughs> I did. I did. All right. I'm going to add just a touch of truffle oil, just Ooh. a little bit. You sure that's not the olive it's, oil? No, it's been no, it's truffle oil. Okay. It's, been, it's been cut with olive oil. Ah, okay. Yeah. Hey, right. for both of you guys, what would you like the, the the public at large here in the community and at large in America to know about the restaurant business right now? Uh, we're all in trouble right now. Um, if we don't get to open up for inside, um, even at twenty five percent, even uh, outside, even outside, it's it's going to be. Um, it's going to be very devastating. It already has been. Um, I know in San Rafael alone, about 20 restaurants are, are, are going to close. Maybe 15 to 20, something like that. We've had four or five in Sausalito. Yeah. And it's just, it's horrible right now. Like I said before, it's like a nightmare. And I'm just waiting to, to wake up from this. Yeah. But, How do you uh, keep your staffs from being demoralized, guys? Um, personally, what I did is, is uh, I spent my retirement already on, on keeping the restaurant open and afloat and keeping my staff employed. I haven't lost one staff. I have 28 staff members. I haven't lost one yet. We haven't lost any either. And, um, you know, I'm checking in with them like, like Sean is doing. Um, I'm providing for them as much as I can. I'm, I'm letting them work full time because we're doing a lot of takeout right now. So uh, even though we're not doing the numbers that we did, and we're down about 85 percent, especially in December. Um, yeah, no, you just no, have to keep it afloat. No, no parties this year. No, no catering. No Christmas parties. No, no, no catering. I mean, that's Dave and I do a lot of that, and uh, you know, a lot of these chefs' dinners that we're offering as well. Um, you know, for um, uh, charities is what we do them for. Basically. You guys have both been over the top helping charities for years and years, and I just want to say this on behalf of me and the community and the community unity. We so respect who you have been who you are right now and who you're trying to help tonight with your staff assistance. This you're remarkable men and thank good, you, good men. And Michael, thank you for all you do for the community. And yes. Thank you for all you do. Yeah. You're, exactly. you're a rock star. I just want to show proper respect to men that do what you do for the families that, that work with you and the people that you show uh, ultimate shifting and gifting and lifting them to a higher uh, higher state of believing in optimism and positivity. You're both great men. Truly, truly, Thank you. Thank truly. You. I got gotcha. you. Thank you. Hey, Thanks. your raviolis right. are floating, so, dude. Now my tortellinis are floating. Oh, oh sorry. Means, raviolis or tortellinis? They're tortellinis. Totally. Okay, sorry. 
Sauce little guy. All right, well, All right. I'm out of time. I can't tell the difference. So I'm going to add a little black truffle paste. If you can see this, this is the gem right here. This is the magic. I'm not going to tell you where I got it or, or who I got it from. I met wow. a guy in the corner the other day, actually. Jeez. All right, so beautiful. I'm giving it away today. I'm saute that a little bit. Add a little more cream to, to loosen up the sauce. I'm going to add my tortellini. I want a little bit of that water in here. Now, also water to, to help tell us, it up. Tell us why you want the water in there. Because the starch from the um, from the pasta helps thicken up your sauces. Gotcha. It's, it's an old trick of cooking. All right, beautiful. That little plate go? Where'd it go? I don't oh, know. Where's my cream? Yeah. Hey, you played a joke on me. You took the rest of my cream. Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let me get the plate for you, Dave. I got the bowl right here, Sean. Oh, you're doing bowl? Yeah. All right. It's a pasta. You got to put it in a bowl. Oh, Shape C. All right. See two different cultures uh, blending in right now. All right. So I'm going to take my tortellini. It's like East Coast, West Coast. Exactly. My tortellini is in a bowl like that. Those look super good. Michael, can you handle four of these? I'm in here sweating like Dom DeLuise at a Jenny Craig confession seminar. <laughs> All right, I'm going to top it with a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese. All right, let me show the camera. That's a beautiful dish. Oh, right I there. think it needs a little parsley. No. No? no parsley. You got okay. parsley? I got parsley, yeah. Give me a little parsley. Come on, man. Can I do it or you want to do it? You do it. All right. That's good. Too much cilantro on it. That's not cilantro, it's parsley. Yeah, from Mexican cooking. Perfect. All right, here we go. Beautiful. All right, Michael. Whoa, Tortellini Porcini. Oh, Dave. Look. Thank you. <laughs> when the moon hits, should I like a big pizza by that Samore? Awesome. It came out That was good. That was equal time. That was beautiful. It was going to be a day. Totally rock and roll. Now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, we want to talk about fun to me. And we're asking you to look inside your heart. When I was talking to little kids, I said, don't overstand people, understand people. And the kid goes, yeah, but don't you think we need inner standing? After you've heard these two men who are community leaders who've done so much for our community, can we do as much for them and the families that work for them? Think and think about the $5,000 donation that could come from Fund the Need that could help us help them, their families, we need to get some places that we, I know, we can go. So take a look at this incredible Fund to Need video. When they shut us down as far as the COVID, um, we absolutely dropped in, in, uh, in business and just relied on to-go and takeout delivery. Holding our own right now, but we're down in December about 75%. And we're sanitizing our hands constantly. We sanitize the tables, the chairs, um, the door handles, everything here. And constantly wipe down um, every area, area where people are going to touch. And I'm, I'm super glad about that. And some, some people went on furlough. But I've, I, I've, I've retained my whole staff through this, which is really good. But the help of the support of the, the community and a GoFundMe on Facebook, Social media has really um, helped us out a lot with my staff. And um, out of my own pocket, I've, I've, uh, I think I spent my retirement, but um, I'm, super, I'm super happy to do that, to keep everybody here, because this is my family. Uh, since COVID hit, we have had to uh, shut down for lunch, uh, as most of our lunch business was uh, the surrounding office uh, workers uh, here in the, in the area and most of them are working from home now. Um, so there's really not any lunch business to, to speak of. Um, several uh, missed opportunities this year. Um, we've had a couple that we've been able to do, just small groups, which we're thankful for, um, but it's, it's been rough. From having their hours cut to a whole shift uh, cut, um, having to uh, adjust uh, people's uh, schedules that they once had. Uh, we put up plexiglass here in the bar 
uh, to keep a barrier there. I've done some stuff here in the dining room, uh, social distancing, uh, sanitizing, uh, washing our hands, uh, uh, wiping things down surfaces with the sanitizing solution uh, as much as we can to keep everybody safe, our families, our staff, our customers. Um, over the past few months, we've had a lot of uh, customer support for our staff. What I've felt in this time right now that our community has totally stepped up and given me so much positivity with their support. And I continue to move on and do change my way of doing business to support them as well. And my staff is really in included in all that. Ongoing support would be gift cards for all restaurants, not, not only myself, um, for our restaurant. Gift cards are, um, are a great purchase during this time of year. And also the continuing support of to-go and, and delivery. Be kind, be patient. Uh, we need to get through this and uh, we need to stick together and get through it together. You know, folks, uh, Rotary of Mission San Rafael Foundation can make everything tax deductible tonight for you and your group, your family, for a family of four to have an incredible meal. I'm going to bring in Sean and David. They're so fun. These guys are hilarious, and they're making such great food tonight. Don't you know you would love to have them there? And for $5,000 donation to help the families in need. Think about it this way. I've been a Rotarian for, for 30 years and a two-time Paul Harris fellow. Uh, I've been working in communities all over America for years on PBS. And what I, I think what I learned more than anything else is there are women and men out there in leadership positions who provide hearted context. A great teacher by the name of Helen Keller was asked, oh, it must be hard for you to be blind. And she replied, it would be if I had no vision. The two men that are here tonight have a vision for families, for love, for compassion and connection to the community that they have built in their own businesses. More leadership like this. If you wanna know what the answer to violence is, if you wanna know what the answer to anger and hostility and unhinged behavior is, it's people in the community who lead people and teach people to be kinder, softer in their workplace and in their families. And they do that by knowing that the best example that you could possibly give, the best sermon you can give is being that person that is the medicine in your community. David and Sean, tell us a little bit about what you'd like to share with that $5,000 fund to need and what we can do to help your families. Well, I just want to shout out to my, real quick, to my, my clientele, my customers. We've developed so many great relationships with you over the years and we're just super grateful that you're loyal and we appreciate your support. Uh, for the dinner, uh, we've, Sean and I have done this many times. It's a lot of fun. We show up at your house, we bring everything. We bring the plates, we bring the flatware, the glassware. We bring wine. We do five or six courses, maybe even more. Um, and it could be up to, I think we're up to six people or four people right now. We'll even raise that. We'll talk about it. Um, Sean will do a course. I'll do a course. Uh, we'll bring it out. We'll describe it. Um, I'll do another course. He'll do a course. And then we'll, we'll just have fun. You guys take your time. There's no rush. Get six of your closest friends or whoever you want. And we'll keep it very uh, safe. And this guy's a safety guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> we had a safety meeting earlier too. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, uh, same for me. I would, I would just thank you to our customers, our community, um, our staff for sticking with us, our, our, their, their families. Um, they are family to us. Um, we're all going to get through this, like Michael said earlier. Um, I hope it's sooner than later. Um, everybody's hurting. Everybody can use a hand. We could have a great time doing this too. So thank hey, you. Uh, both of you guys, what's the big wish for a new year for families and you? 
Go ahead. My wish is to have this thing over with, to have all the vac vaccines in order and have our restaurants open again. Vaccine, and, uh, get us open again, everybody uh, back to normal, whatever that is going to be. Um, everybody back to work and yeah. If our businesses are saved, then our employees are saved. Absolutely. Remarkable, man. Thank you so much. That was thank you. That was great. You know, uh, they'll tell you that normal's just a setting on a dryer. We don't know what that's going to look like, but I can tell you this. I'll tell you what normal is to me: people that love people and lead them to the higher angel of their nature, which is what both of these men do in their community. Not just for the people that they work for and with, but the community at large. Cannot get better than this tonight. And their heartfelt plea to you to help us. I want you to take a look at an incredible leader from our community. This uh, Jean Friedel is gonna, we're gonna put a video up about her relationship to Sean and, and to the community at large. My name is Jean Friedel, and I've had the absolute pleasure of knowing Sean Saylor for 20 plus years. And we met um, while he was volunteering uh, five or six days of his time at the Saucedo Art Festival. Since then, we've remained friends, um, my brother, and uh, he has continually helped me in my endeavors to support my Rotary Club and our Rotary District. Um, with fundraisers, with gift certificates, with being on site to cook crab and pasta for 200 people at our crab feed. Um, he's an amazing individual, and I truly consider myself blessed to know him. The list of organizations that he has supported, not just the ones I'm involved with, but my Rotary Club of Carolinda Club, the Sausalito Rotary Club, both in District 5150. Um, shelter box projects, Jambalaya in Sausalito at the Pines, uh, the Sausalito Women's Club, the, the anything. He is always giving. And during this incredible year that we've all gone through, I, I know in, in my heart, the thing that has been hardest for him is that this has hit his staff so hard. And I know that he calls his staff his family. He thinks of them that way. They are. And I know that that probably is the thing that weighs heaviest on his heart is um, that they haven't been able to be there. And as much as we hate not being in the restaurant, um, I know that he misses the interaction and his community involvement and being able to do all those things. Um, so I couldn't be more happy to do anything we can to help this endeavor. Thank you to Sean and David for all they do for their communities and how much we miss them all during this time. So if you have a moment, take a listen, take a watch, and donate if you can. I'm gonna leave it for Thank tomorrow. you very much, Gene. Okay, Those heartfelt sure. words about Sausalito and the community and about our, our good friend, Sean, are so, so loved. And now, I always tell little kids, and, and Gene, you can notice what's happening is Gene, Sean, and now my friend, Melissa, I tell children daily, the, uh, the best ship to sail on is friendship, partnerships, companionship, relationships. These are the ships we have to sail on to build that. And in my life, I've had a friend in all the Rotarians, but the daughter of my old friend, the sheriff of Marin, Melissa, Pran Melissa Prandy has been a heartfelt friend and a, a most amazing person in my life. And I love her dearly. And I'd like for you to watch her talk about David Hayden and El David. Uh, what a year 2020 has been. Hello, everyone. Today, we are actually supporting our community. It's about giving back. Let me tell you, David Hayden and I grew up together. We both have the same heart. We love the community. I go to David for everything I can. Hey, David, I need a favor. And guess what? I go to Sean as well. Sean and David are amazing. They believe in giving back. I feel like the El Davide family is part of my family. We've got Caesar. I make up my own dishes in the kitchen and they don't even mind. He's had a chef since he was 17. 
it's incredible. But it's what they do for all of us all year long and for many years. Tonight, we have a chance to give back to them and to give from our heart. It'll be a tax write-off. And guess what? We're a community together. Together, we're stronger and we'll bring on a new year. Thank you so much, David and Sean. We love you. We love your staff. And we're going to do this. Cheers to 2021 and giving. Gentlemen, we want to thank you, and I want to announce the winners of tonight's um, $100. And it is Johnny and Lisa Scopazzi, Scott and uh, Shelly Wyatt, Susie and Mike Granados, and Bo Pfeiffer. Thank you guys so much for your loving generosity and for, on behalf of the families. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to toss back over to my buddies. Uh, David and Sean, but before I do, think of this. Tonight is the kind of night that everybody in America needs because it is a bridge of hope. I leave you uh, with this poem that I work with kids. Oh, the winds of God are blowing, so keep your sails unfurled. And the winds of God will take you to the safe harbors of the world, forever full of power to take you where you will, forever full of grace if there are sails to fill. So take the helm. Be master, unfurl your sail, your part, and the winds of God will take you to the safe harbors of your heart. From here in Sa Sausalito, all the way to San Rafael, hearts are connected by loving men like Sean and David. Say a few words, you guys. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in and, and taking time out of your busy schedules for Dave and I. Um, we are truly grateful every day for having our communities, having our employees, our families, their, their families. Um, we would like to thank the sponsors, Melissa Prandy from Prandy Properties, uh, Barry from North Pacific Roofing, uh, Mission San Rafael Rodeo, uh, Rodeo. <laughs> Rotary, too much tequila. See, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> cork pops. We'd like to, we'd like to thank our crew, Trevor and Caesar, for their excellent work. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And especially, we want to thank Michael Pritchard. I was getting to that. All right. Well, <laughs> well Michael, thank you. Now it's David's turn. <laughs> thank you, everyone. I thank everybody who's watching. And, and again, thank you for your loyalty to our, both our restaurants. Um, and we'll keep giving back as much as we can. Absolutely. And we appreciate you so much. Giving back is where it's at. Exactly. Like, don't, don't be there, don't be square, kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. All it. right. Thank you guys, both Sean and David. 15000 is what we've raised so far. This is going to be up on Facebook and YouTube. We thank you. Please find generous friends, help our families, hear the hearts of these uh, great community leaders, these fine men, and hear the hearts of our friends from Rotary. Help us help keep the community strong. And that's what this is all about. May God bless you and have a happy, happy new year.